the lord is good we continue on the series of teachings on the holy spirit holy spirit we so much so so much appreciate you holy spirit the burden remover we welcome you into our lives that as the spirit of god searches all things yea the deep things of god holy spirit precious holy spirit search deep into our lives the sources of burdens to crush to afflict root out and cast out and magnify jesus in our lives holy spirit no one can talk about you without you revealing thyself reveal your presence empower us unlock our life to glorify jesus that multiple signs and wonders break forth even now into our lives in the mighty name of jesus i decree you blessed and everybody says Amen. Isaiah chapter 59 verse 19 proclaim it as we rise on our feet to honor the word of the Lord and ready to read say yes so shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun when the enemy shall come in like a flood the spirit of the Lord shall lift up standard against him shall we proclaim this much louder so shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun when the enemy shall come in like a flood the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him Holy Spirit our defender lift up standard against the rage of the wicked lift up standard to permit angelic reinforcement and blessings upon our life even now in Jesus mighty name in Jesus mighty name and everybody says joyfully be seated based on this the title of today's prophetic message is Holy Spirit my defender was the title of today's prophetic message Holy Spirit, my defender. Shout it louder. Holy Spirit, my defender. Can we just celebrate the Holy Spirit as a defender? Brethren, the more you celebrate him, you will see him in action. That's one thing about the Holy Spirit, how he works. The more you acknowledge and celebrate him, you will see him in action. And the more blessed you are. Who wants to sincerely, I mean not religiously, those of us watching at home, is not watching, participate and take action. You want to celebrate the Holy Spirit, just give him all the wave offering and shout the praise of God. Malito, molitri, kalengro, molengria, Holy Spirit spirit we celebrate you as our defender can you celebrate him as your defender precious holy spirit i david Komolafe, i celebrate you as my defender holy spirit my defender i celebrate you in all areas of my life in jesus name holy spirit you are the defender of this gathering glorify jesus and everybody says listen you are listening say yes the trouble of the body of christ today and many people it's like we always feel defenseless i want to say my own i want to do this i want to try this i want to prove them this you can try that but it may avail to nowhere but when the holy spirit becomes your defender he will do awesome wonders beyond what you can imagine because your strength cannot really go far your strength cannot reach the deep things that of glorious thing god wants to do in your life but when the holy spirit becomes your defender oh my god can we may the holy spirit grant us that revelation of how the holy spirit can be our defender let's celebrate him one more time i just feel his presence so strong right now 
Holy Spirit, my defender, I acknowledge you as my defender. Holy Spirit, my defender, I celebrate your goodness and your greatness in my life. Holy Spirit, my defender, thank you for your love and your work in my life. Holy Spirit, my defender, thank you for glorifying Jesus. Holy Spirit is the defender of this ministry. Holy Spirit is the defender of this gathering. And we acknowledge and embrace him and celebrate the Holy Spirit, our defender. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody says, make it a threefold amen. Amen, amen, amen. Why do we call the Holy Spirit our defender? Read the scripture. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the waste and the, its glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. Praise the name of the Lord. Get the background of this scripture. Why the prophecy of Isaiah? He, profess, he, was prophe, he, he was prophesying about Israel, how God turned their captivity around. And the people from the West nations from the west began to fear god say oh my god can god do this for somebody who is down and outcast and suddenly turn his reproaches away the people from the west feared him and the people from the east they glorify god when the holy spirit becomes your defender people all over will fear god and glorify him for your life. Amen. I speak to somebody here to, this morning. From this moment forward. Because Holy Spirit is your defender. From north to the south. People will magnify God in your life. Amen. From east unto the west. People will glorify God in your life. Amen. You receive that with joy. You better shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I wish that is a shout unto the Lord. If it's unto the Lord shout hallelujah. What is the implication of this prophecy of Isaiah? It is all about discovering the secret of rising and shining. Somebody say rising and shining. Say it louder. In the meaning, when you thought you are down, when you, people look at you and feel shame, no good can come out again. That's when God loves to work most with his people in order to shame your accusers. And God will do that to glorify his name. Because the old, when the people thought it's over, God will tell them, I just started the good work. And that's somebody's joyful testimony this morning. If that is yours, say yes. yes. So shall they fear, read it together again. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up his standard against him. Has it not been written in Psalm 113 verse 3? From the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same, the name of the Lord is to be praised. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. From rising is the east. The going down is the west of the sun. The Bible says the name of the Lord will be glorified. And from this person, he said they will fear the name. Let's read it from New Living Translation for clarity. He says, in the west, people will respect the name of the Lord. In the east, they will glorify him. For it will come like a raging flood tide driven by the breath of the Lord. In the west, what will people do? Respect the name of God. In the east, what will people do? They will glorify God. Shout hallelujah. The sun rises from the east and it sets in the west. So he said, in the west... When the sun is about to set, people will respect and fear God in your life. 
in the east when the sun is rising people will glorify god they will magnify god they will recognize god's splendor and reverence him in your life you agree to that shout amen, amen. say from the west people will respect the name of god in my life from the east people will glorify god in my life in the north people will magnify god in my life in the south people will praise god for me in the name of jesus you receive that as blessing say yes, yes. they will fear the name of the lord from the going down of the sun people will fear the lord that we magnify his name because of the manifest greatness somebody say manifest greatness they will magnify the Lord in your life because of the manifest greatness of God. Because of his wonders towards you. People will say, can God do this? And listen, you are listening, say yes. yes. The sun rises from the east. And the sun sets in the west. And I love the way it begins. He said, in the West, people will respect the name of God. Meaning, when the sun is going down, when the sun is below the horizon, the night sets in. Darkness sets in. When people thought everything is down, darkness is setting in. The hope is lost. Then, suddenly, somebody says suddenly, God will spring forth his goodness that people will fear him. Say, oh my God. When it was day, nothing happened. When we expected the best, the worst came. And now that you are going down in strength and nothing seems happening, darkness is taking over, nothing good is visible suddenly God caused a turn around and the glory spring forth and because of that they will respect the name of your God and that's what is happening in the life of somebody here tonight you are that person shout hallelujah I decree to you by the spirit of prophecy the sun may be going down things may be going low this may look as bleak and gloomy in your life, but I see divine intervention. Divine intervention that will make people respect your God, the Holy One of Israel. You receive that in your life, shout yes. yes. People will fear and magnify God because of his manifest greatness. Because of his wonders in your life, people will celebrate his goodness. Okay, let me personalize it. Maybe I'm talking about myself. People will fear God and respect the Holy One of Israel. Oh, my sir. People will magnify the Holy One of Israel in my life because of his manifest greatness, because of his wonders in my life. People will love to serve the most high God whom I love because of his kindness towards me. People will celebrate God's goodness with me because of his love towards me. That is your portion, shout yes. yes. He said from the west, I love it, how it began. It didn't begin out from the east where the sun rises. From the west when the sun is setting, darkness is coming in, all hope is lost, energy drained off, sudden, and people say, forget it, nothing can happen. Many years of your activities, no good report nothing can happen all those of no good report they are talking what will last and last forever we need to have a deep roots god is strengthening your roots empowering your life strengthening your inner man so that when the blessing comes 
the foundation will not collapse. When God has something so good to do in your life, if He just release it just like that, with this unprepared foundation, God forbid it will collapse. So when everything seems to be going down, that's when the Holy Spirit loves to show up. Yes, it shows up too when things are working well. And when the sun is rising from the east, they will praise God. I say from the west unto the east, from the rising of the, from the setting down of the sun, and unto the rising of the sun. I love that. When the sun set, the night setting. And when the night setting all over, it will be darkness all through the night. And while it's dark, God is doing his wonders in your life. And suddenly the sun will rise again from the east. You will live to glorify God. You will live to glorify God. In Jesus' name. That is talking about praising God from the night unto the morning praising God from the night unto the morning non-stop praise in the midst of darkness somebody say that with me non-stop praise in the midst of darkness and I see God staring up occasions whereby people will need to thank God for you I call the Holy Spirit to stir up those occasions in your life right now. Occasions where people will have no choice but to magnify God in your life. Holy Spirit, begin it right now. Holy Spirit, stir it up right now. Holy Spirit, activate it right now. In the name of Jesus. And everybody says, God's goodness in your life will make people fear him. Let me put it right. God's goodness in my life will make people fear him. Lift up your hands unto the Lord. Say, Holy Spirit, announce God's greatness in my life. Holy Spirit, announce God's greatness in my life. From the west unto the east. From the east unto the north unto the south. Holy Spirit, the hour has come now is announce God's greatness in all areas of my life. Precious Holy Spirit, announce God's greatness. Announce God's, God's greatness in this gathering. Precious Holy Spirit, the hour has come now is announce God's greatness in the life of as many connecting with this prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, precious Holy Spirit, announce God's greatness over this gathering. In Jesus' mighty name, and everybody says, listen. He said they will fear the name of, they will respect the name of the Lord from the west. When the sun goes down, and as they get darker, the praise of God will be stronger. Oh Lord, help us. As it gets darker, the name of the Lord will be glorified the more until the sun will now rise. The praise of God is best when things are down. That's what people don't know. Go and ask Paul and Silas. In prison, chained. It's not just chained. They were bent, bent, folded put the wall and lock up very excruciating pain yet they praise god the prison broke the foundation shattered the chains loose the praise of god is best when things are down and gloomy god's praise is much more glorious when things are dying and suddenly revived and start to blossom again. Somebody shout hallelujah. Why not lift up your hands and shout the praise of God. Say, I praise God for the difficult moments of my life. You've not done that for a long time. You need to thank him for difficult moments. Say, I praise the name of the Lord 
for the difficult moments of my life the trials i have gone through the temptations and the shakings of my life as you are thanking him victory is established victory is being established Yahweh of Israel, the God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob. I, David, come and laugh. I praise you for my for the trying moments, difficult moments of my life. I give you praise. I give you praise. You kept me alive in difficult times. You strengthened me in difficult moments. You lifted me up when it's difficult. Blessed be the Lord Most High, who sustained me with his grace in my difficult moments. Can you praise God for those difficult moments? Yahweh of Israel, I magnify you. I celebrate your greatness for sustaining me with grace in my difficult moments. And everybody says, say, I praise God because he has made me triumph over those difficult moments. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Can you do that? I celebrate those triumphant. Blessed be the Holy One of Israel who has caused me to triumph over difficult moments. I praise the Holy One of Israel who has caused me to triumph over trials, over difficult moments. Praise Him. You are triumphing over those difficult moments. Can you make the praise of God great and glorious this morning? I see difficult moments turning around. You are triumphing over those difficult moments. Praise be the name of the Lord who has caused me to triumph over difficult moments. And everybody says, I still I just feel like praising him. Who wants to do so? Say, I praise God for complex situations in my life. Yes, those situations you feel is complex. Too hard to comprehend, too difficult to understand. Praise him for that. Hey, blessed be the God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob for complex situations in my life. Things that are too difficult to comprehend, too hard to understand. I praise God because he has not abandoned me unto those complex moments. He has not abandoned me at those difficult moments. Yes, because he promised he will be with me unto the very end. Because he said he will never leave me nor forsake me. So praise be God. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy star, they comfort me. Lord, we celebrate victory. Over, now begin to celebrate victory over those complex situations. Say in the name of Jesus, I celebrate victory over complex situations in my life, over things that are uncertain, over things that are really mysterious, hard to understand. I celebrate victory over them. Lift up your voice and celebrate victory. Hallelujah for victory. We celebrate victory right now over difficult moments. We celebrate victory over complex situations we celebrate victories over things that are too hard to comprehend we celebrate victory over things that are deep to understand thank you jesus for this victory amen i still want us to praise god i just feel the holy spirit so strong in, in those complex situations you want to praise god because with him nothing shall be impossible say yahweh of israel I magnify you for complex situations in my life because with you nothing shall be impossible because with you nothing shall be impossible blessed be my rock of salvation blessed be the honor of my salvation for the difficult and complex situations in my life because with you oh most I God nothing shall be impossible in Jesus name and everybody says lift up those hands say, resurrected Jesus my body bearer, Holy Spirit, my body remover, I celebrate your goodness in my life. Resurrected Jesus, my body bearer, Holy Spirit, my body remover, I celebrate your goodness in my life. As you are celebrating him, put your heart to what you are doing. I congratulate you. Look at that, look at that. Yay, look at this. Jesus, do it again. Thank you, Jesus. Resurrected Jesus, my body bearer, I magnify you. 
Holy Spirit, my body remover, I celebrate you. Resurrected Jesus, my body bearer, I magnify you. Holy Spirit, my body remover, I praise you. Resurrected Jesus, my body bearer, I magnify you. Holy Spirit, my body remover, I celebrate your goodness in Jesus' name. And everybody says, make it a threefold amen. amen. While the sun is going down from the west, and darkness set in, all up lost, energy drained, then they will respect the name of your God because of his manifest greatness. And while it's dark from that sun setting all through the night, the praise of God will never cease in your life. And suddenly in the, the sun will rise and they will magnify God again. Say, we never knew the sun, the sun shall rise again. Amen. Why would people praise God in your life? It's because of the glory that will spring forth when things seem to be down. And I decree that glory spring forth in your life now. In the name of Jesus, a turnaround miracle be established upon you. A turnaround miracle be established in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, you receive that with joy. Shout yes. Let's take this verse again. Let's, can I go a little deeper? New life version was the scripture. Let's read new life version. They will fear the name of the Lord from the west. And a shiny greatness from the rising of the sun. When the one who hates us comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a wall against him. Shall we read it much louder? They will fear the name of the Lord from the west and his shiny greatness from the rising of the sun. When the one who hates us comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a wall against him somebody shout hallelujah when the one who hates us comes in like a flood the invasion of the enemy wants to break our defenses and sweep us away but god will not allow it that's why the holy spirit is our defender say holy spirit my defender holy spirit my defender forbid evil invasion in my life holy spirit my defender forbid evil invasion in my life forbid it forbid it forbid it forbid it in the name of jesus the when the one who hates us comes in like a flood the invasion of the enemy wants to break our defenses and sweep us away but the holy spirit will not permit it the persistent conflicts we go through they are assigned to drown and wipe out those consistent offenses the trouble the conflicts we go through the assignment drown wipe out but god will not permit it Amen. the holy spirit will not permit it Amen. say holy spirit my defender scatter asunder the persistent conflicts in my life holy spirit my defender scatter asunder the persistent conflicts in my life you better decree that they can't break down your defense it can't sweep you away it can't drown you it can't wipe you out you better lift up your voice holy spirit my defender scatter asunder this persistent conflict in my life scatter it asunder scatter them asunder scatter them asunder holy spirit my defender persistent conflict against this gathering uproot and scatter asunder root out and scatter asunder in jesus name the blood of jesus rebuke and condemn persistent conflict against this garden curse be persistent conflict against this garden over this garden holy spirit is our defender in this garden holy spirit is our defender holy spirit our defender scatter a 
asunder this persistent conflict in this garden in jesus name you better lift up your voice persistent conflict in your home scatter them asunder holy spirit is your defender persistent conflict on your career Ask the Holy Spirit, your defender, to scatter them asunder. Hey, Rademe Yegedian Lima, Egedia, Egedia, Egerondia. Holy Spirit, my defender. Holy Spirit, my defender. Holy Spirit, my defender. Scatter asunder this persistent conflict against my life. Scatter them to desolations in jesus mighty name ah you are still going to pray i feel the holy spirit in the house say holy spirit my defender strengthen me against offenses strengthen me against offenses all the offenses that want to break down my defenses holy spirit strengthen my heart strengthen my inner man strengthen me holy spirit in my spirit soul and body in jesus mighty name and everybody says thank you jesus ah the kalama lift up your voice say holy spirit say holy spirit is my defender the raging flood shall not drown me holy spirit is my defender this raging flood shall not sweep me away holy spirit is my defender this raging flood shall not wipe me out it shall not wipe me out it shall not sweep me away it shall not drown me because the holy spirit is my defender because the holy spirit is my defender this raging flood shall not drown me because the holy spirit is my defender this raging flood shall not sweep me away because the holy spirit is my defender this raging flood shall not wipe me out in jesus name regarding this gathering because the holy spirit is our defender this raging flood shall not drown us in jesus name regarding this gathering because the holy spirit is our defender this raging flood shall not sweep us away in jesus name regarding this gathering because the holy spirit is our defender this raging flood shall not wipe us out in jesus name and everybody says make it a threefold amen. 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 amen when the one who hates us comes in like a flood not the word comes in say it loud the one who hates us may the one who loves you come in amen. jesus said to the church remember saying to the church i stand at the door and knock if anyone hears and open i will come in but the trouble is people open door more to the devil to come in than for jesus that's the trouble with the church and can you imagine the church and jesus is locked out it's no longer a judge because it's the reason for the gathering so many people in their life professing jesus shut him out they prefer jesus to be the gate man and god forbid what they don't like comes in when jesus comes in he rules over everything why not just say dear lord jesus i open my heart unto you come into my life in your fullness take over my spirit lord jesus take over my soul lord jesus take over my thought and my imagination lord jesus take over every part of my being lord jesus in jesus name and everybody says and everybody says when the one who hates us comes in and when he's coming in it's coming in like a flood do not allow the fury darts of the wicked to come in because if those fury darts come in they are like raging flood ready to sweep away 
ready to knock down defenses ready to drown ready to wipe out but the mercy of god will rescue Amen. no wonder so many people are drowned in their thoughts submerged in filthy imaginations choked with worries and anxiety we need to identify those the one who hates us that has take that has gained entrance into our life how do we identify the one who hates us the offenses we permit they are like storms breaking down our defenses if you permit offenses to control your life it breaks down your defenses how do we identify the one who hates us that comes in the wounded feelings is a torture to our soul breaking down our defenses the distress and the vexation they torment our spirit breaking down our defenses the fear because god has not given us the spirit of fear but of love of power and of sound mind when you permit fear to control your mind when you allow doubt and unbelief to control your mind they are anguish to our soul breaking down our defenses i ask you this morning what have you allowed to come into your life to break down your defenses when the one who hates us comes in it will come like a flood ready to wipe out to sweep away and to drown and that's why a lot of people are drowning in iniquity and struggling and with no clarity of a better tomorrow because we have permitted the one who hates us to come in and listen you are listening say yes, yes. to be victorious to have a sound mind and recover back your life and live in do, um, and start living in dominion when the one who is us comes in like a flood the spirit of the lord will lift up a wall against him and when you raise a wall the flood will come and go back we, and one thing with flood is not just one time strike it goes back reinforce stronger rage the tide gets stronger and higher try to overwhelm the the war that is why he said the holy spirit will lift up a wall against him when you have a deep relationship with the holy spirit the stronger the higher the wall of your defense if you are acquainted with the holy spirit the higher and stronger your wall will become those offenses will come but it will not be able to control you it will not storm your life because of the wall of the holy spirit that's why the holy spirit is our defender the vexation will rise the offenses will be stronger fear may want to and fear and unbelief may want to take hold of your mind but allowing the holy spirit to push back will secure you in victory Amen. the spirit of the lord will lift up a wall against him why not lift up those hands unto the lord say holy spirit my defender strengthen me against offenses holy spirit my defender you are my strength strengthen me strengthen my wounded soul holy spirit my defender heal my troubled spirit heal my wounded soul in the name of jesus holy spirit my defender heal my troubled spirit holy spirit my defender heal my wounded soul Holy Spirit, my defender, heal my wounded spirit. Holy Spirit, my defender, heal my wounded soul. Can you lift it up unto the Lord? You have been wounded, you have been offended, you are vexed. 
and you are troubled don't let that keep tormenting you don't let that bring an anguish into your soul pray for the defense of the holy spirit against those offenses and vexation holy spirit my defender heal my troubled spirit Holy Spirit, my defender, heal my wounded soul. Holy Spirit, my defender, heal my wounded soul. Heal my troubled spirit. In the name of Jesus. And everybody says, amen. make it a threefold amen. 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 I want us to read it from Good News Translation. What is the scripture? from east to west everyone will fear him and his great power he will come like a rushing river like a strong wind from east to west everyone will fear him amen it says the translation i have here it says so shall they fear the name of the lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun for the enemy shall come like a flood, but the Spirit of the Lord shall chase him away. Shall chase him away. Say, Holy Spirit, my defender, chase away this raging flood from my life. Listen, the enemy constantly wants to come in. He said, The one that hates us, he wants to come in. He hates you. He hates what God has deposited in you to make you prosper. He hates your divine composition of greatness. He hates your shining light and shining greatness. It's like, why could just this one person be so much loaded with gifts and there's a better tomorrow for you? The enemy hates that. How could God love somebody so much? It then mean we look at you. How can God love you so much? Always watching over you, always providing, always defending you. He sought you out and spotted you out of everybody in the family. The Lord single you out and say, I will bless you and you will become blessings to others. And you want the enemy to be quiet. When everybody in the bloodline, the enemy has locked them down, has covered them up, sitting upon their glory. And they have no strength to push the enemy away. And you, you are walking freely, enjoying God's goodness and strengthening the Holy Ghost. They try to lock you down, the Holy Spirit removed the lock. They try to hold you down, the Holy Spirit lifted you up. They try to sit upon you. They try it actually to sit upon you. But the glory burned them up. How can they sit on fire? How can they sit on fire? They will be consumed. It's time they attempt to sit on you. Ay, sh they say, this one you can't sit on. And it's like, who, is, who are you, by the way? That's why they, they hate you. Who are you? What kind of glory you carry? They want to come in. When the one who hates you tries to come in, God forbid they gain an entrance, they will come like a flood to drown to sweep away to wipe out but the holy spirit we always lift up standard what is the spirit of god saying for you to maintain retain and manifest the goodness and the glory of god let the holy spirit be your defender Amen. by then however hard they try to come in they won't gain an entrance why not declare it's say holy spirit my defender Hey, this is no joke, somebody. Holy Spirit, my defender, chase away this raging flood from my life. Chase it away. Chase it away. Yes. Holy Spirit, my defender, chase away this raging flood. Don't let it come in. Don't let it touch me. Don't let it drown me. Don't let it sweep me away. Don't let it drown me. Don't let it swallow me up. Don't let it wipe me out. Holy Spirit, you are my defender. Chase away this raging flood in this garden. Holy Spirit, you are my defender. Chase away this raging flood. In the name of Jesus, as many connecting with this prayer, 
Holy Spirit is your defender. And I decree the power of the Holy Spirit to chase away this flood from your life. I decree the power of the Holy Spirit to chase away this flood from your life. Just lift up the Holy Spirit. Let him raise a wall. Let him be your defender. Holy Spirit, you are my defender. Chase away this flood. In Jesus' mighty name, and everybody says, Listen, you are listening good, say yes. Just as you have permitted the one that hates you to insult your intelligence, just as you have permitted the ones that hates you to come in to afflict you, it is time now to permit the Holy Spirit also to flood your life and to overwhelm you with God's glory. Rather than allowing the enemy to come in and flood your life, allow the Holy Spirit to come in and flood your life. Lift up those and say, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. I, I open up my life unto you. Come in to me and flood my life. Precious Holy Spirit, I, David, come and laugh eh? I open up my life unto you, Holy Spirit. Come in and flood my life. Come in and flood my life. Come in and flood my life. Precious Holy Spirit. I, David Kamalafe, I open my life unto you. Come in and flood my life in Jesus' name. Precious Holy Spirit, this gathering is open unto you. Come in and flood this gathering with God's goodness and glory in Jesus' mighty name. And that is when the people will glorify God in your life from the west unto the east. When the Holy Spirit comes in and floods your life, then people will fear God Amen. and magnify God in your life. Let me tell you the kind of person that people fear most. The kind of person that people fear most is the person that has opened up to the Holy Spirit. Because when you open up to the Holy Spirit, you are not of your own anymore. Holy Spirit will come in and people will fear and glorify God in your life. Because they will see the same you that was full of bitterness in the past, full of rage, now with a joyful heart. That's how to know a believer. Not this day the way we proclaim to be believer. The truth has not changed. We better get back to the truth. Merry heart, joyful heart. People will say, I know you full of bitterness and rage before, but there's a transformation that has taken place. People will fear and glorify God in your life. See you that was downcast. Now you are walking in dominion. You used to be fearful. You used to be full of anxiety. You shake over everything and mourn and cry. But now you are full of faith and walking in dominion. People will say something diff there's something glorious about you. Then they will glorify God in your life. They will glorify God in your life because you are no longer oppressed. You are no longer suppressed. You are no longer under any affliction. Rather, they see you being empowered by the Holy Spirit to push back the negativity. Somebody say, push back the negativity. Why would they glorify God? Because now you are tapping into God's grace and strength. And you can say, it is no longer I that live, but Christ that live in me. That's when people glorify God in your life. People will fear God and glorify God in you because the, in his mercy, God has now raised you out. He has raised you up out of the dust, shaking away the dust, removing the mess out of your life. And those who had known you before, they say you have been lifted up. 
See, God has truly lifted you up. We knew you to be somebody who has been messed up, but now we can see the difference. The glory is there. I call out the hand of God into your life. I decree a lifting up, a rising up, because it's the one that raises up the poor out of the doors. He raised up the needy out of the dunghill. Make them to sit with princes, even with the princes of these people. I command a raising up and a lifting up, a raising up and a lifting up. You are out of the doors. You are out of the dunghill. You are out of the mess. Let there be a raising up and a lifting up. Somebody say in the name of Jesus. I receive a raising up and a lifting up. I receive a raising up and a lifting up in Jesus' name. Somebody say, Holy Spirit, my defender. Holy Spirit, my defender, raise me up and lift me up. Raise me up and lift me up. Holy Spirit, my defender, raise me up, lift me up. Yes, he's raising you up above the flood. He's lifting you up above the storm. He's raising you up above the storm. He decree that over your life. Holy Spirit, my defender, raise me up, lift me up. Raise me up, lift me up. In the name of Jesus, it's happening right now. Hey, you are out of that mess. You are out of that trap. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Holy Spirit, you are the defender of this garden. Raise us up and lift us up in Jesus name as many connecting with this prayer I see the hand of the uh, of the Holy Spirit defending raising and lifting you up in Jesus mighty name and everybody says then people will fear and magnify God in your life they will magnify the only one of Israel in your life because they see his glory upon you lift up those hands if, people, if you want people to magnify God in your life, you magnify God first. Because in your, mag, in your praising God, let me tell you, praise is very infectious. You're talking of coronavirus? Try praise. It can ignite anywhere, anywhere. And God will show up. If you want people to praise God for your life, begin the praise now lift up those hands say i magnify the holy one of israel because i am joyful i walk in dominion i am empowered by the holy spirit i'm strengthened by grace i magnify the holy one of israel who has raised me up and lifted me up i magnify the holy one of israel who has made me joyful in Jesus' mighty name. You receive that with joy, shout yes. Back to the new life version. When the one who hates you comes in like a floor, the Holy the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a wall against him. Say, Holy Spirit, my defender, push back this invasion of the wicked out of my life push it back push it back is the wall yes holy spirit my defender push back this invasion of the wicked push back from my life push back this invasion push back this invasion holy spirit my defender push back this invasion of the wicked of this gathering in jesus mighty name say holy spirit my defender stop this raging flood against my life Holy Spirit, my defender, stop this raging flood against my life. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Command it to stop. This raging flood against this gathering. Holy Spirit, our defender, stop this raging flood. Now, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Ah, what a great... Holy Spirit, my defender, dry up this raging flood set against my life command those raging floor to dry up command those raging floor to dry up command those raging floor to dry up it's your defender malikata rosola bria getika lambros kata yes the flood is dried up the wall of the holy spirit is set up in the name 
of Jesus. The spirit of the law will lift up the wall against the one who hates us. Say, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, my defender, lift up a wall all around me against the one who hates me. Holy Spirit, my defender, lift up a wall all around me against the one who hates me. Holy Spirit, my defender, lift up a wall all around me against the one who hates me. Yes, I see that happening. The wall of the Holy Spirit, the wall of his presence, the wall of power, the wall of fire, the wall of his glory. Yes, it's lifting up the wall against the one who hates you. They can't break in, they can't break in, they can't break in. Hey, thank you, Jesus. It's happening right now. Mercy Labro de here. Holy Spirit, my defender. Holy Spirit, my defender. Lift up a wall all around me against the one who hates me in jesus name and everybody says Amen. shall we welcome the holy spirit with this song are you ready to sing say yes, yes. welcome 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 blessed holy we ghost we i welcome will you come, come with power and fill your temple holy ghost we welcome you welcome 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 precious holy ghost we welcome you come with power and build this temple holy ghost we welcome can we welcome him welcome 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 precious holy ghost we welcome you come with power Build this temple, Holy Ghost. We welcome. Can you welcome Him into your life? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hallelujah. Bless us, Holy Ghost. We welcome you. Come with power and fill this temple, Holy Ghost. We welcome. Now, personalize it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Bless us. Holy Ghost, I welcome you. Come with power and fill this temple. Holy Ghost, I welcome you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's say, Holy Ghost, I welcome you. Come with power and fill this temple. Holy Ghost, I welcome you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Blessed Holy Ghost, I welcome you. Come with power and fill this temple. Holy Ghost, I welcome you. Oh yes, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hallelujah. Blessed Let's Holy Ghost, I welcome you. Come with power and fill this temple. Holy Ghost, I welcome you. Sing it louder. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Blessed Holy Ghost.
Holy Spirit, my preserver, my restorer. Holy Spirit, my preserver, my restorer, my defender. I welcome you. Lift up your voice and call him that. Holy Spirit, my restorer, my defender, my defender, my preserver. I welcome you. Holy Spirit, my restorer, my preserver, my defender. I welcome you into my life. Holy Spirit, my restorer, my preserver, my defender. I welcome you. Precious Holy Spirit, you are the preserver, the restorer, and the defender of this gathering. We welcome you in Jesus' name. And everybody says, lift up your voice and just give thanks to God. What a mighty God. Father, we are grateful for victories in all areas. In Jesus' mighty name, and everybody says, and amen you are listening to us you've not given your heart to Jesus that's where your victory begins and you want to say I really need to be born again just type it in as you're watching and we will encourage you to make that decision confessing and accept, repenting confessing and accepting Jesus as Lord and Savior the joy of salvation shall come upon you Say, dear Lord Jesus, come into my life. I repent of my sins. Forgive me, O Lord. Have mercy on me. Purge me by your blood. I accept your eternal sacrifice, Lord Jesus, to save my soul. Empower me with your Holy Spirit. I receive the joy and the grace of salvation. In Jesus' name, and everybody says, Amen. Amen.